Hello everybody. So I wanted to show you today how we can make a change to the computer. If you have upgraded your Windows computer to a new version of Windows, let's say Windows 11, and you wanted to have time to be able to decide if you wanted to stay on Windows 11, well, Microsoft only gives you 10 days to make that decision. Well, I personally would like to have more time to decide if I want to stay with Windows 11 or go back to Windows 10. So I wanted to show you all how you can go in and you can change it so you can have up to 60 days that you can decide if you want to stay with that new version of Windows. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you all the steps you have to take. Okay. So the first way that we can test to see how long Microsoft is going to give us before they take away the option to go back to the previous version of Windows is we can open up the command prompt. So we're going to go ahead and click on start. And here you can either type in CMD or you can type in command. Either one will work the same. And if you type it in, then you can tell it to run as administrator. And then if it prompts you, is it okay to make changes, just go ahead and click yes. Now here in the command prompt, what we want to do is we want to type in one command. It's D-I-S-M and then a space forward slash online space forward slash get dash OS uninstall window now it is case sensitive so you might want to make sure the g the o the s the u the w and the other o are all capitalized and then go ahead and press enter now if you'll notice when it comes up it says uninstall window is 10 that means 10 days because i just did an upgrade on this computer from windows 10 to windows 11 and i only have 10 days to make that change well, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can go in and you can make that up to 60 days. So the first way we're going to do it is with the registry. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the command prompt open and I'm going to click on start and I'm going to type in reg edit or registry editor, either one, whatever you prefer, and then go ahead and run as administrator. And then go ahead and click yes to allow it to make changes to your device. Now here what we want to do is we want to go down to the H key local machine. And then we want to go to system. And then we want to go to setup. Now over here you probably won't have this D word created. But we need to create a D word. And it's called uninstall window. So we're going to right click, go to new, and go to D word 32 bit value and click on that. And then we're going to type in uninstall window. And then I'm going to press enter and I'm going to press enter again to open it up. And then the one change you have to make is you have to change this to decimal. And then you can type in 60 and click OK. Now, if I go ahead and go back to the command prompt that I left open, and I go ahead and type in that same command one more time, and I press Enter, now you have 60 days to decide whether or not you want to go back to the previous version of Windows or you want to stay on the current one. Now, I'm going to go back to the registry editor and I'm going to delete that key that we just created so that I can show you the second way that you can change it. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to tell it yes. Now I'm going to come back over to the command prompt. And again, I'm going to run that command one more time. And if you'll notice now, it says 10 days. So the second way that we can change it is with the command prompt itself. So right here, I'm going to say DISM base forward slash online 
space forward slash set dash OS uninstall window. And again, it's case sensitive, so make sure all the S's and the O's and the W's are all capital. And then I'm going to put another space and I'm going to put a forward slash value colon and I'm going to put 60 and I'm going to press enter. Okay, now that went through and automatically made it where it's 60 days. So if I type in the DISM space forward slash online space forward slash get dash OS uninstall window. Now it says 60 days. And if I come back over here to the registry and I click off of setup and I click back on it, now you'll notice the uninstall window has been set to 60 in parentheses. And then the hexadecimal, of course, is different, but the 60 is what matters. And so now you have 60 days to decide whether or not you want to stay on Windows 11. Now, I did want to let you all know about one additional thing when you're typing in the DISM command. And if you're getting an error, it may be because of a few things. One is it may have already deleted the windows.old folder. So what you have to do to double check to see if that's gone is you have to click on the file explorer. And then once that opens up, you go to this PC and you go to the C drive and you see if there's a windows.old folder. Now, if it's still there, that's good, but we'll have to dig deeper to see if there's a problem with one of the files that's missing. Now, if you don't have the windows.old folder, that means it's already uninstalled the old version of Windows and you can only stay on Windows 11. Now, if windows.old is still there, double click on it and then we have to change the view. So we have to click on view and we have to go all the way to the bottom and we have to click on show and then we have to click on hidden items. Now here, there should be a folder called $windows.tildebt. And if you double click on it, you'll see some more folders. If you don't have that folder, the dollarsignwindows.tildebt, tilde bt then that's the reason that you're getting the error with the dism but if you do have that folder we need to go and look for a sources folder and again if that one's missing that's probably the problem as well now in the sources folder there should be a lot of dll files and you can tell because it'll say dot dll and if you don't see the extension just click on view again and go down to show and then you can just make sure that you have the file name extensions turned on. And that way you can see what every single file is. And then most of the problem is going to be if you don't have one of those folders. I'm going to include a list of DLL files that you would need to have in order for the DISM program to run and tell you how long you have before you can't go back to the previous version of your OS. But this should fix the problem. If you don't have any of those folders, the windows.old, the dollar sign windows.tilde bt, the sources folder, if any of those are missing, that's the reason. And it's probably most likely because it uninstalled the old version of Windows already. And so it's just been too long. And I wish that they would give us longer than 10 days, but unfortunately that's the only amount of time that they give us to go in there and to test out the operating system to see if we like it. Unless you go ahead and you do this change that I just showed you. So I hope that was helpful on how you can stay on Windows 11 for a little bit longer before you decide if you want to go back to Windows 10. If you do have any questions about this procedure or you need me to give you some more information about it, please let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video that would be beneficial to you, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and create it for you. Just let me know that 
down below in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I make my Windows stay on the current version of Windows for longer before I have to decide if I'm going to go back to the previous version. And I'll be more than happy to show you how to do that. And thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.